this point. So we're 2 1. 20 minutes in. Okay. I guess this has been going pretty long. Does <sighs> <coughs> anybody watch MLG? MLGG, maybe? Uh huh, uh huh. Okay. That was Cliff. They're not spamming him this time. This demo's persistent on Cliff. Okay, there's the spam. And there's the demo pick, so I would get the meta right now, because a soldier could land on your head really easy when you're jumping back and forth like that. But are they going to win anyways? Doesn't make any sense. I don't know. This team seems like it would be prone to wiping on mid a lot, just because they seem to go regardless of the disadvantage they have at the start. I would pretty much say, you lose your demo, you send a scout and your roaming soldier right on their medic, and then you get everybody the heck out of there, because those two guys will die fast, they'll get a spawn with your demo, or just behind your demo, and then uh, you can ho hold two with Uber, and you have a chance of killing the medic, which is, you know, depending on his position, could be worth it. But And the demo just died somewhere while I was flying around with free camp. Maybe it's time for some first person action. Let's watch one of these watch, uh, probably the medic. Okay, get my view balls on, and here we go. Alright. Back into first person. I think I could talk more now that I'm not controlling the camera, but just ran out of things to say. So, okay, what are they trying to do here? They have even Ubers, I don't know why, but they do. So, it's, uh, a hold, unless the reason they it's even is the other guy was building case they wouldn't know. In which case, their uh, defensive posture in here is quite appropriate. Now, got to buff that demo. Okay, good. I don't know about, uh, no, this is not good. This is not good. Now, here's a problem with that Uber. And, I, I don't know. <coughs> you have to stop more damage than that to have a successful Uber. He was act the med was actually Ubered alone just because he wanted to flash the demo in, even though there was nobody in position to damage him. Uh, and the pocket, I think, took a bit of unnecessary damage there. So this is bad because when you s as soon as you switch off, even if you don't flash somebody right away, you still get that drain which is not helping their already shortened Uber. Uh, so, that might be round. I would have used the other door. Oh, they were getting back half, they just had to go direct, okay. <coughs> Makes sense. But, basically just an unfortunate situation of dropping the aroma before they went into block and decided to go block anyways. Even though they didn't have a good position for it, and they were too late to stop the cap. So even if they had got nice frags there, they could have potentially just been cleaned up by respawners. But at the same time, you know, I respect you make a decision, you stick with the decision. Demo's dead right at the start, going in anyways. Okay, mm now two dead? Is that the threshold they back out at? Three dead? Is that the threshold? There we go. Oh, nice. Nice play. This is a still a scary situation though, because the pocket's not at great health. Although, the scout just worked that pocket, so... They, uh... Caught the other team overextending, and got forced off camera. <laughs> what was I saying about staying in first person? Okay, here we go. Medic cam. A little indecisive movement there, but you should just sweep right into the... Don't back up go forward. And your demo's dead because he's on the flank all the time. Uh, see, I don't like this like defensive combo. Like They're letting their flank do all the work with no life. Is your soldier still in there? No, he's not. Okay. How did you just pipe me? question. 
All right, let's see this demo stay alive a little bit. I hope. I don't know why he's like leaving the combo though. He can spam so well in yard. Just stick with it. Yeah. Now, let's see if they use the super aggressively. They see a few people split up in yard there. Probably just gonna pop when they enter the door. Should keep that. Yeah, that demo's pretty good health. You can keep peeking. I would say. Mm, I'm not really a demo player, but I know the theory. And I would say, in a situation like that, I would rather, uh. I would rather be throwing stickies out and doing damage to them, as opposed to trapping the door in plain sight, because they can just pop through, and you're right there, so it's not like it's gonna hurt them too much to pop through. But, uh. You could easily have spent those four or five stickies and done, like, 200 damage with that. So that might make up for the fact that your scout just died if you were able to delay the push a bit. Or, say, your scout had got a pick there, that 200 damage would open you up to push, but sticky trap, meh. Not that useful right now, at this moment in time. And, see, it didn't, doesn't even do anything. Other positions is getting compromised. See that, that, that damage is really nice. Did the other team back up? They have control of health, they should stay in. Except, wait a second. Okay, the demo's with the combo. I was about to have heart palpitations. Still, the demo's so far up, and I thought the combo must not be there. Backwards land. Alright, so, blue, get, just heal the demo. He's right there. Just heal him and go. You gotta pick. Just heal and go. You don't need to play the peak game when you got you got number advantage. But now it's gone. Because the scout will be back in. Even if he's dead right now. He waited too long. So this is like the epitome of bad push timing. Followed up with popping way too late on the pocket. You don't save people with Uber. You block damage with Uber. So... Cleanup time for Red. Pretty much gifted them that. And I don't know why they're backing up. They have numbers, so if their combo was. Imagine their combo with these guys right now, rather than miscommunicating and backing up while they push forward with their flank. Also, stickies are much better than pipes downhill. Just saying. See, now this is falling apart. All because the combo backed up, rather than forging ahead, even with their low health. Just because nobody was tabbing to check. So, there you go. Basically, I mean, the thing is, suicide plays and whatnot, you can, uh... You can lead in with your flank and keep your combo alive and just spam support. When you're playing in a two-push style, that is, you're not going to win this push, you're going to generate an advantage, generally off the uber charge, or having faster, uh, like having your scouts be dead, come in based off of that. But, if you actually have an advantage already, I, you're on the second push, or because of whatever DM has occurred, you have an, like, y you've picks, whatever, uber advantage, whatever. You just lead the combo, and your scout, your flank has to wait. Otherwise, you just get punished like that. Like, there's no reason to lose a 4v3. And they just lost a 4v3. So, well, I guess the reason is you send your flank first, and you don't uh, uh, push with the combo. But, shouldn't do that. Okay, so, I like this position. Wrapping is really nice now. Just keep moving forward, because you have the numbers. You can kill the medic if the combo had been moving forward, but it's too defensive play here. Don't like that. Should have been a med pick. <laughs> Apparently it was almost a soldier pick, because he got stuck on a rock. I do like their decision to move up and force the issue on two right now, but they should have been way more aggressive with that. And fail pop. I would be mad if I was Caspian right now, because I keep getting dropped. 
and this is round. It's just uh, right click, clutch for your team. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> Can't heal through this stuff, so uh, it's, I think it's just a, a thing you learn after playing pocket for a while, but when you're not used to it, you just out dis like as soon as you're Ubered, you're just like I'm invincible, and you charge in. But you got you got to remember 550 unit range, the meta beam. It's not all that far. It's not as far as a rocket jump goes. So you gotta keep it together. So, okay, number advantage, uber disadvantage. Gotta watch the doors and be ready to back up. And who's watching right? Do they know? They know. So get out. You know they have uber. Or maybe they got called backing up. Where? Okay, so indecisive movement from blue. This point out. Well, I would go now because the demo's dead, but. <coughs> still no Uber from red. And they lost a lot of players trying to delay. At least to get the force. No, here's the thing about delaying a point when it's on the back cap is that an unexpectedly large number of times you just end up wiping their team rather than just, you know, temporarily stopping it. And the reason for that is, when a team is capping a point when they're not being back capped, they tend to stand in advantageous positions, so the medical will be hard to get to. People will be spread out, not everybody will be on point, you'll take damage coming indoors, etc. But, you put a back cap on, everybody clusters on the point, and they're so easy so easy to jump on. So that force is something that would have not happened had the back cap not occurred. Just thought I'd mention that one. And I disagree with moving into yard here because you're heavily outnumbered. And oh, lost a scope. This should oh, still not back. Okay. I would start moving the combo well. Okay, being one down, maybe not, but you know you have the uber advantage, you have scouts coming from spawn, so it's nice time to just push. It's a big uber advantage too, so maybe they're just letting blue make the mistake of getting close.